is a German shepherd trained to sniff out explosives. He's placing the explosives in the springs of this vehicle, so like it's a car bomb. He hones in and signals by sitting. So that was a fine. Yeah. Uncovering a compound similar to what the U.S. government says airport authorities failed to find on the suspected terrorist accused of trying to blow up a flight into Detroit Christmas Day. It's just like silly putty but it's, it's a very high-grade explosive. Patrick Belts trains bomb-sniffing dogs for agencies like the FBI and Los Angeles Police and believes any properly trained dog would have identified the explosives used. Certainly, it would have been easy. Counterterrorism experts we spoke with agree and are questioning how and when dogs like Bear should be used. The fact that this individual showed up with a one-way ticket purchased with cash, with no check baggage, he should have been pulled aside, and at that point, if inspected by a dog, he literally could have detected it. But dogs have limitations. They can only work so long without rest and tend to make a mess if stuck inside for long periods. Still, dogs tend to be the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable explosive detection capability that we have in this country. Bear has been a $60,000 training investment over nine years for the Los Angeles port. He trains monthly in different scenarios. Today it's an old bus used to simulate an airplane. It only took the dog seconds to find those explosives hidden aboard this bus. But Belt says had those same explosives been hidden in my clothing, the dogs might not have found them at all because they haven't been taught or directed to do so. That I know of, uh, no one has been given a green light for dogs to smell bodies. Tell them That's here in you. the U.S. Belts does train dogs to sniff search people for countries in the Middle and Far East where he says standards are different. In America, it could be considered very intrusive to make you stand still while my dog went to your groin area and smelled around. They can be taught and I, I'm, I have every confidence that he could do it but right now the legalities of it are just astronomical. The Transportation Safety Administration says the 700 dogs it's currently using are trained to check baggage, cargo and airport areas that could be used to check people if necessary. Terrorism concerns have prompted Auburn University to develop a program they claim trains dogs to sniff out suspects carrying explosives as they casually walk past. Since the Detroit incident, discussions about increasing aviation security have focused mostly on technology, but perhaps one part of the solution is man's best friend. In Banning, California, Cara Finstrom for CNN.